Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about the Internet of Things. Now, let's get geeky and talk about what exactly that means. So, what happened there? You saw a phone that went tilted one way, read 100, went tilted the other, read 1. And that set, it seemed to set the volume level of these speakers. But what exactly just happened there? We really don't know. Well, they just said the volume of these speakers, but these speakers aren't smart speakers. They don't have an app. They just have an audio jack and nothing else. So how did we do that? The answer is the Internet of Things, or essentially sending commands over a network to make something that was formerly dumb, these speakers, with just an audio jack, into something much smarter, something we can control from anywhere with, uh, with a network. So there are five key components in this entire setup. There are the speakers, power, the network, and the intelligence in this Raspberry Pi. And the fifth component is the phone. Hey buddy, can you check me the phone? Thank you. So let's talk about the flow of information through the system. So this phone had a value between 100 and 1, depending on the angle it was at. That number is sent to this router. This router transforms it from Wi-Fi to Ethernet sends it through this wire to the brains of the system, the Raspberry Pi. The Raspberry Pi is essentially a very, very small computer that in this case is running a web server. This web server receives this value and then changes that to a percentage of the sound. So that will change the volume level to, from anywhere between 0 and 100%. Then it outputs this value through this audio jack to the speakers, therefore changing their, uh, their volume. Now let's talk about the software. So there are two pieces of software that make this entire thing possible. The web server code we run, and the app on this phone. For the web server, you can see we take a level here, and then set the volume of the audio jack on the Raspberry Pi to that. And for the phone, CAMK12 has written an app that translates the rotation value or the angle of this phone from a number from 1 to 100, depending on its orientation. From that, we send that to the web server, and the web server sets that volume. Now, I've talked a lot about the Internet of Things, so what exactly does that mean? The Internet of Things is enab internet enabling a lot of sensors and output devices, such as pollution sensors, so that we can see how polluted the environment is, such as thermostats and lights, so that we can control our home better and make it respond to us and our needs better. This is just a very simple example of controlling speakers, but we can control everything from air conditioning to even the health of trees. So now, I have a party to go to, but you, stay geeky my friends.